Hi, this is Bruno Lavaillon from Dallas Bouillon Restaurant. I'm here at the Made in Kitchen in Austin, and we're gonna cook some fish today. Piece of salmon, beautiful salmon, and a piece of red snapper. We're in the south in the Gulf, so red snapper is what you want to cook. The salmon, we're gonna cook it in a small pan like this, so it's an eight inch versus 10 inches. Usually 10 inches will cook two fish. Two persons, it's a good size for, for a non-stick pan. And all, those, those two are non-stick, by the way, non-stick pans, really, really great. Small one, we're gonna use one piece of salmon in this one, and this one, we're gonna cook the piece of red snapper. Uh, I'm gonna show you two different type of technique. One of them, especially the salmon, is gonna cook almost on one side. The snapper is gonna cook on both sides. We're gonna make the, the skin uh, crispy. What I like to do with the fish, just to, uh, you'll see the, 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 the skin gonna curl when you put it in the pan. So to accelerate the process, what I like to do, I like to do a little incision. So obviously you need a sharp knife. Three little incision like this is gonna prevent the skin to really curl up. Uh, curl. Same for the salmon. Press it, so you kind of do like a little arch, and just do this, 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 and this. So like this, you have three little inserts. It's gonna help the fish to cook uh, faster. Salt on both sides. You don't want to you don't want to season too much. A little pepper. I mean, use a little bit of olive oil. It's fine if you don't crank the volume too high. It's because uh, the, you don't want that to smoke too much. A little bit. And you don't need too much oil because non-stick pan, that's a good thing about it. They don't take, you don't need too much uh, uh, fat to go with it. Just gonna put the salmon, skin side. Salmon's gonna cook pretty much only on one side, on the skin side. And this one, the snapper. So you see the skin kind of curl up a little bit, but not too much because I made the insertion with a with knife. And you push the fish a little bit just to flatten the, the skin a little bit, but not much. The skin gonna retract nicely on, a, on its own. You want, you want something like this. You want to go really slow on one, on one skin, on, on the skin side. So the, obviously the, the difference with those two fish, the red snapper is well inner, much inner than the, than the salmon. But in the meantime, the the snapper gonna cook way faster than the, than the salmon. While the fish is cooking, we're gonna do a, little, a nice dressing to go with it. Green olives, a mix of uh, cherry tomatoes. So what I do is I cut tomato in four pieces like this. You see in the meantime the fish is cooking, so, so you use all the different color tomato that can go on seafood as well as far as uh, uh, scallops, you can do that on grilled fish. They can go really well on, on any type of fish. And with some green olives, slice them. Okay, so olives go in there. The raw garlic in there, but not too much. Just enough to season uh, the whole dressing. So the garlic, tomato, olives. I'm gonna add some uh, lemon juice. One, one, one lemon juice uh, portion for three olive oil. So I put roughly two tablespoons, so I'm gonna be six tablespoons of olive oil. So you see now you have your base, your base uh, vinaigrette. You have chive, Italian parsley, and uh, basil. You can add tarragon, you can add uh, uh, cilantro will go as well. Any type of pressure that will go away well with it. Uh, I'm gonna take some parsley, basil, leaves, and chives. I'm gonna chop the chive first. When you want to do that in advance, just put the herbs at the end. The contact with the lemon juice, they're gonna turn gray. So you don't want that. The chives, parsley, and, uh, and basil. Whatever you feel like it. And what I like to at the end to add a little bit of uh, lemon zest. The macro pain. So now you have a, a nice green olives and tomato uh, dressing. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. You know, pepper. And this, and this is a, you know, the final dressing when it's done. And that like this, you just leave it room temperature until the, until the fish is ready. You can see when you, rem when you took the, you see how the, the skin gets really crispy on one side, that's what you want. 
especially for the salmon because there's a lot of oil in the salmon. So you want all the rendering natural oil for the salmon to go out. The snapper, same thing, really crispy skin. So I'm gonna turn the snapper because you don't, you're not gonna get any more crispy than that. So just to flip it on the other side, cook it slowly to finish. And this, I don't know if you, you cannot see it, I'm gonna show you. So you see a difference of the, on that side it's easier. You can see the temperature gradually come up from the skin to the end. So it's become almost less pinkish when you go on top. That means you can follow the temperature in, in your pan. So pretty much in two to three minutes, this time I'm gonna be ready to just flip it over. It's gonna be cooked, ready to go. So what we can do to finish this, uh, this, uh, this snapper, I'm putting a little bit of garlic in there. You don't, you don't have to, but uh, a little bit of butter. So you see, so what basically you, uh, you put the butter, you reduce the heat because you don't want to burn the butter. You just put a touch of butter on top of the skin, on top of the fish. One minute on that side, this snapper is going to be ready. It doesn't take that long, roughly five to six minutes to cook the, the fish. And you see this salmon is almost ready as well. It's going to take a little more. So this snapper is pretty much done. The fish is ready. So I'm going to start to plate the fish, the, the snapper first. Fish on the plate. In the meantime, the salmon can is ready to, to be turned around. It's ready. And the salmon is just going to take basically 30 seconds on that side. And it's going to be ready. We put the dressing on the side. No sauce. It's a very spring summer uh, fish. It can be grilled, it can be uh, lobster, will go very well as well with that, with that type of dressing. Grilled lobster. Here we go. So that's that snapper is done. Nice and crispy skin, you can see, very crispy. And you can finish with the same vinaigrette. You can add avocado if you want in there. You can do you can, pretty much everything in season. You can do some chef zucchini as well. They go great. A salmon and a, a red snapper. Cooked in two different uh, temperatures. One crispy skin on the one side. The other one is you know, on both sides, but crispy skin as well. With the same dressing. Tomato, lemon vinaigrette, fresh herbs, lemon. Mm -hmm.